I have got a servo tester to make it go back. Okay, I've turned the hovercraft upside down and I'm just going to inflate the skirt so you can see what it looks like. So there you go. So I've now started the process of uh, mounting the brushless motors into the EDF housing. But there's a little uh, design flaw or a mod that needs to be done on the housing. You can see that the uh, cables come out the front of the motor and where the cables come out you're going to need to uh, enlarge this hole here in the uh, housing to uh, allow the cables to come through. Um, it's important you get the motor the correct way around. The uh, mounting holes are the ones that are closest together that marry up with these two here. So it's this hole here that needs to be enlarged and then you'll be able to uh, mount the motor into the housing and then the cables can be pushed back down. As you can see on the two rear EDFs. So hopefully you can see that. I've enlarged the hole and now the cables can come through the front. Now it's just a simple matter of uh, screwing down the motor using the two holes on the front and looping the cables back and joining them to the uh, speed controllers. Here you can see the lift fan. The uh, brushless motor is done slightly differently than the two rear fans. Here you can see the cables actually come through the side of the housing and not through the back. That way you can keep the cables running straight down the middle. I have to admit that I messed up the one that I recorded earlier. Uh, this is an old unit. Um, the one I did earlier I accidentally put the mounts here and here and that means that the cables come out to the side so I've had to run them around it doesn't really matter but it would be neater if they were done this way I've actually reversed the clip on the video so it is correct um, but obviously my cables then have come out incorrectly for the lift fan the uh, speed controller I'm using is just the uh, generic 30 amp speed controller that came with the EDF so for the rear fans I'm actually going to use this uh, Afro speed controller and uh, the reason I'm using this is eventually I will be using the uh, reverse function that you can program into the uh, speed controller. I haven't got to that stage yet but that's what I intend to do. So I just need to explain a bit about the radio controlled side of this hovercraft. Now when I first made the hovercraft my intention was to always make it electronic control but until I'd uh, developed the electronic control, I initially mounted the two EDFs at the rear on servos. And uh, that worked really well. And uh, as soon as uh, I realised that was working so well, I decided to uh, push ahead with the electronic version. Uh, the electronic version has a uh, little circuit that takes the two channels, the throttle and the steering, from the receiver. And then uh, does a bit of mixing. So when you go full throttle forwards, both of them will receive the same amount of power and when you steer, it will reduce one of them and increase the power on the other. And uh, that works really well. Now, I don't want to go too deeply into that because um, I'm going to uh, do it again with an Arduino board and add a few more features onto it because these speed controllers can do reverse and I want to include that. Um, but for those who are interested, Here's one I did earlier. And what you've got here is a little uh, circuit board. I'll uh, include the information on that. And it's got a PIC 12F675, I believe. And that does all the uh, mixing. And as I said, it's got three inputs, which is the two from the receiver and a pot, which does the hover height. And then it gives three outputs to the uh, three speed controllers. And that works really well and what is nice about it is because it takes the steering from the receiver you can 
add a gyro in um, and the gyro just goes in between the receiver and this circuit and if you put this hovercraft into a spin and then let go of the steering it will straighten up very quickly without the gyro it will just carry on spinning as hovercrafts do um, so like I said I want to change this to an Arduino board I want to change the gyro to one with heading hold and adjustable gain which I can't do because I've run out of channels on this and uh, basically make it more usable and fun so before I finish for the night I just want to explain the power requirements the two rear EDFs are fed via a wire adapter from a 3 cell 5000 milliamp LiPo and the lift fan at the front is also fed from a 3 cell LiPo but it's only a 2000 milliamp LiPo. The front lift fan battery also supplies power to the little circuit board and to the receiver. What you will find is the battery that powers the front fan will last twice as long as the 5000 milliamp. So you'll have to change the uh, 5000 once before the front ones run out. So just uh, demonstrating the gyro really on this one. It goes relatively straight, turn it, and then it will straighten up again. Maybe the obvious one would be to put it in a spin and then let go. There you go. Oh, cool. So you can see, I'm just putting it in a spin and letting it go back to neutral. Yeah. That jar is working really nicely. That one you use in the board for? That's what I've made. Oh, isn't it? That's what they use in the uh, multi boards. Oh, yeah. That's um, really quite stable. What did that get airborne on that flip over there? Yeah. Just to demonstrate, I've turned the gyro off. So for a start, it starts spinning and I'm having to correct everything. So this is it. I'm not doing any steering and it's just steering all over the place. Yeah, no, that's um, quite bad. <laughs> <laughs>